up on the screen here. High finest three four three four nine nine super chat. Thank you so much. Regarding Odyssey Malt Malt EQX, if you use a shelf filter, do you typically turn off DEQ as well? Like dynamic EQ. Dynamic EQ as well, since it's effectively doing the same thing. Thanks. Well, it's it's not doing the exact same thing. Right? It shouldn't be right. Well, shelf filter means that I'm assuming that he's saying he's bumping up the bass, you know, a certain amount. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, dynamic EQ does that, but it does it more at lower volumes than it does at higher volumes. At, at reference, right. it's actually flat. Yeah, it's turned off. Yeah, it's off at, when it's flat. So it's that's why they call it dynamic. So it's not the same. I mean, there could be a point where it is the same at one particular point, but never uh, – it's, it's not the same. I mean, I just interviewed Chris Kariakakis, and he's one of the guys, I, you know, one of the co-inventors of Odyssey, and I think he's a big believer in dynamic EQ. I don't know that I am a fan. I've always I'm, liked it. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, what you think, but, um, the whole thing is when you turn down the volume, the bass goes up. The bass is higher in volume relative to the rest of the, the sound, right? To me, like, when I turn down the volume, I want it to – I'm trying to turn down the volume on purpose, like – like I, I think, want, I don't I need the, it. Like, yeah, I think the main reason though is that we I, hear bass a lot lower at lower volumes, so that's kind of why it's trying to compensate down there at lower volume. I, I guess the way I think about it is like, why, and what, in what cases do you want to listen at a lower volume, right? Yeah, I, when the kids are asleep. Yeah, I don't need the bass to be up at night. <laughs> and to lower it. <laughs> So but like I, even a guy like myself, I typically don't watch movies at reference. Like never. I mean, bullshit. we watch dead, you totally scared. do. What are you not. talking about, bro? I My I typically watch movies about negative 10 dB. Very cool. Oh, hey, Joe. Joe, high finest 343 comes back with thank you guys. So how much of bass boost do you apply at what frequency book ends and how many dB? This is I don't know if um... I mean it, it. The answer is that it depends on your room. The answer. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, it totally depends on what your room is. If you want to just like just mess around with it and see, you know, what you can do, you know, try try it at a I don't know 120 hertz, uh, hertz right? Because that's where LFE starts. Yeah. So try 120 hertz and then try three dB up and six dB up and nine dB up and you know, three, six, nine, twelve. What do you What do you think uh, should be the content playing? Uh, you know, when he's trying this, should it be a movie? Should it be just like sine waves? Like, what do you? Um, you know what you can do is um, I'm just trying to think what you can do. Like, simply, um, maybe play some some test tracks that you really know well, and listen up some decent headphones that you know are pretty good, and then take off your headphones and listen on the on your home speaker, the and the bass should be somewhat similar. Yeah. Right. Somewhat. That maybe try something like that. And if you want to get real nerdy with it, maybe try playing pink noise through those headphones. Take off your headphones and then see how the bass sounds like, you know, see how the tonality is. I mean, that's a real um, simplistic way to do it. But I would say that's better than nothing. And then we'll see what you like, you know? Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a good sine wave bass drop at the beginning of Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. That one's you already have that. That's easy, easy enough. Yeah, I would say uh, something with repetitive um, bass, though. You know, like how do you know, uh, like a thunderstorm? Like how do you know how much bass that's supposed to have? I, I don't right, know. Right, right, right. But right. music is a little bit easier, I think. Yeah, Croson says you have to have good headphones for that as well. Yeah, definitely. Don't don't try it with Beats, otherwise you're gonna be at like plus <laughs> plus fifteen. Oh, gosh. Plus twenty, you know, blow be all over, all over the at that way. Yeah, too funny. 